What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Dyson nice Sphere Program. So, in this episode, we are going to work on getting power for our artificial stars because we are we we're going to have such a power demand uh, consumption demand. Well, right now it's good because nothing is running. However, our demand on this planet is going to be insane. It's going to be pretty big. So, we're going to be needing to generate fuel for our artificial stars. Now, we do have some of these ray receivers set up here but all of these are actually going to go over to photon generation so that way we can make those now i want to get at least two more in here so that way we can get some more photons going um and then we need to start getting the other stuff because the antimatter fuel rod requires uh the photons are gonna get split they're gonna give us hydrogen and whatever what is this called uh antimatter it's getting with hydrogen and antimatter so these are going to take care of these two however we still have to make the annihilation constraint sphere and we still have to make titanium alloy titanium alloy is not too bad to make uh because we can call that in through uh, sulfuric acid uh and then annihilation constraint sphere we're gonna have to get that in here as well but we also we we got a lot of stuff to do we also need to get gravitation uh graviton lens going so that way we can start making warp cells for all of our towers in case they need to warp to go somewhere uh we could we could use a uh, green matrix but i don't see the point in that there's there's no there's no benefit except that it uses one of these and one of these and it makes two of those and then two of those oh oh hold on a second that is actually huge one green science makes eight warpers versus one and one. Oh. oh that's actually that might actually be better than trying to use strange matter Ooh, we might have to look into that we might have to look into that um but yeah so basically what we're going to set up here is we're going to try to set up everything we need in order to get antimatter fuel rods going for the most part so let's start off with i want two more ray receivers uh i don't have the stuff to make those and i don't have those in my inventory almost positive right dyson sphere stuff no i don't have those i could take those from my other planet uh and i actually probably will do just that but we got to get an area here and i want to kind of figure out uh let's see let's get the grid up here we got to kind of figure out how much photon generating we're going to need i would oh gosh i'd actually say we're going to need a lot more we're probably going to put some here here and then we might try to do another ring on the outside in order to get more photon generation because like these aren't bringing in that much power but the photons themselves would be kind of huge oh my gosh we've got a lot of work to do we've got a lot of work ahead of us here okay so i don't know if we're actually gonna get to firing these things up <laughs> uh, i'm thinking about it. i'm like we've got a lot of factory stuff to make so we are gonna work towards this i don't know if we're actually gonna get that, that going yet or not because ultimately what we need in order to get other things going is we really need to get space warpers on all of these towers these towers all need uh warp capable stuff in order for them to be able to go and grab stuff so let's see what we actually need in order to get that going first before we start trying to because we, we we're gonna have to start taking stuff from other planets and we're gonna have to start warping so a warper i'm trying to figure out the best way to do this honestly the green research sounds like it might be the best option for us because that's just a microprocessor microprocessor is those okay so let's do this let's get microprocessor set up so we're already making electronics um but we need to make micro crystalline components so let's get some factory set up for those and we might have to increase our electronics factory capabilities because like these are the factories making electronics and i don't know if that's actually going to be enough um i have a feeling it's not going to be i think we're going to need to make it much bigger but let's go all the way down here let's go kind of over here and let's start setting up a new factory for uh those things that we're going to need all right so micro crystal component is just copper and silicon so that is super easy copper silicon uh we're going to put those on demand those can get moving over here that's fine now we just got to set that up to start making those right yeah super easy not even bad all right so we got this basically set up uh for the most part it's fairly easy not too bad not too bad now we're going to get some power in here now i'm going to run probably more of them in here as well so let's go ahead and put one there and then let's put one over here that'll cover most of those and we'll go ahead and put a tower 
over here as well and then that's boom that's one part of it done i guess <laughs> one singular part now we are gonna have power issues this whole time and we're going to fix the power um i already know because i already know people are going to be commenting like crazy like oh my gosh fix the power it's like i am aware that there's a power issue do not worry we're gonna get there but we got to start making some of the stuff in order to make the power that I want. And I don't want to set up temporary power stuff because I just, it's going to be more stuff, more garbage getting in the way and I'm out of belts. Darn it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay. Let's go grab some belts. All right. Awesome. So got some more belts. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to snag some of these ray receivers because our power situation here is like super, super high. And that is because nothing is like working right now <laughs> like nothing is going on so we're gonna go ahead and snag those ray receivers and uh, i could probably take down a lot of this stuff i think like i said i think we're gonna continue making hydrogen here for the simple fact that we have oil and oils here so we can just kind of like make that and then make hydrogen uh refined fuel energetic graphite all that stuff we can make that here and then just ship it off um, and then as far as these goes, I might, I might make this bigger since we're not going to have nearly as much stuff pulling power. Um, I might make this a much bigger farm. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but now Ray receiver wise, uh, let's not pull the ones that are making the, uh, the photon stuff. So we'll let those two go, but we'll go ahead and snag. We'll snag all of these because we just, we just don't need the power. Honestly, I don't even really need these here. Let's just have one of those going. And then how many? Oh my gosh. Uh, wow. That's actually quite a bit of antimatter stuff. Uh, that's going to stop eventually though, because yeah, that's actually going to stop pretty quickly because we don't have the power. You know what? Let's take all of those. <laughs> I'm taking them all. We're taking them all. Actually, do I have spots in my suit? Heck yes, I do. Oh my gosh. We're going to have power forever. Perfect. All right. So let's head back. We have belts. A uh, few more ray receivers and we've got some antimatter so we can get the the stars going I guess well hey look at that we'll fix the power for uh temporarily where is gosh this one's always a pain to find where is calf four hey there you are calf four you're always so far away now also while I'm flying uh if we go into technology tree we can actually look where are you vein utilization so vein utilization which we have uh minus six percent ore consumption uh minor product plus ten percent mining speed if you look there's actually an infinite one so we could infinitely do this to make our uh our ore production like does it even say um ore consumption minor percent so 83 percent right now we're taking 83 percent of the ore but if i keep bumping this up and up and up we could get to like we're using like 10 percent of what it is which will last our a little or, or last a lot longer too i feel like i missed calf four did i miss calf four where's calf four? Oh shoot oh yeah oh yeah i way missed it way way missed it that's what i get all right, so since we have the uh, since we have some ray receivers, let's go ahead and set those up over here. Uh, that's your program. Ooh, we've got ten of them. Nice. All right, and we're gonna put these so they're not interfering with each other. Perfect. And then uh, basically, I'm gonna do the same thing on this row right here. Hopefully, we'll see how much room we have. Not a lot, but we'll do that. And then we're going to do the same thing over here as well. All right. So more ray receivers, always using more ray receivers, always needing more ray receivers. So auto consumption is 90 kilowatts. Uh, we have 153 megawatts of power. Let's go ahead and get our two more artificial stars right in here. I'm trying to line these all up nicely. All right. So there's those. Now, if we need the power, we could go ahead and you know what we might as well huh well we don't really need it right now i'm just gonna throw a storage deal down here like this i'm gonna throw all of the antimatter in there and then if we need more power which i know we will eventually we will uh we'll hook these up but right now we're like solid and i don't want to be burning that antimatter if i don't have to i want to have a chance to get everything else set up first uh and just let things kind of like run their course for just a little bit until we get everything we need going. Okay, so there's that. We need more belts. We're going over here to, yeah, these microcrystalline components. 
Okay, and then output on these is going to be from here to there to there. And then we're going to go ahead and output from here to there to there to there as well. Okay, so those are going to be supplying the microcrystalline components. Perfect. Supply. Let those things go ahead and make their stuff. That's going to max out. They're going to hit 5,000. No problem. We have room for more. Uh, we have room for a lot more. We can always build out more this way. And we're going to try to leave this area fairly open so that way we can expand these, pull more from these towers as needed. So that is one production done. Now we need to get the next thing. We need to get processors going. So let's go ahead and set up a little processor deal right here, too. Um, Could actually pull. Nope. I'm going to set up a whole station. I set up a whole new station for that because I just want to make sure we're doing this. I want to do this as evenly and as as like methodically as we can. So we need the microcrystal components and we need electronics, right? Yes. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to demand all of that. And then this tower right here, we need to go ahead and throw some drones in. Boop. <gasps> oh, happy drones. Uh, You don't have power. Let's go and get some power in here. All right, so we can basically do the same thing. And then what are we going to be making? We're going to be making a microprocessors. <laughs> so exciting, I know. All right, so microprocessors are going to be pretty much good to go. We'll go ahead and throw a tower in there. We'll throw one in here as well. Uh, microprocessors are good to go. Now, what I like about doing this this way and what I think a lot of people are probably going to end up doing, um, I know a lot of people have tried to make buses on this game because there's a lot of games like satisfactory factorio there there's a good there's a good reason to have a main bus line but on this one with the so many different types of items so many like belt capacities things like that and you having these factories right here like these these towers that can move things remotely there's just really not to and i feel like this is going to become kind of like a staple personal opinion you can tell tell me leave a comment down below what do you think do you think that I'm doing this wrong? Do you think there's a better way to do this? Or do you think that this is going to become a semi-standard thing? Because basically having a tower for an input and a tower for output, I can put anything anywhere on the planet and it will get there. And I'm not going to be worried about it. And we can always research to increase speeds and upgrades on the uh, the flight speeds for the drones, things like that. So like, I feel like this is probably the way a lot of things are going to happen. So we've got the microcrystal components. We've got microprocessors being made. Uh, we've already got like 300 something microprocessors. It's amazing. I know it's fantastic. So from there, <laughs> from there, we need to make uh, what the annihilation constraint sphere. So in order to make that, we actually need to make uh, we need to set up this, but we in order to set up that we need the we need the warp capable stuff because we just set up the unipolar magnets um, and that is what I want to use. I want to use this recipe for the unipolar magnets. So we're going to need to get that set up in order to make that, which is what we need in order to make these. You know, we're actually fairly close to being able to make antimatter. We're actually pretty close. We're not too far off. Not going to lie. Um, the other things that we need. Oh, uh, we do. Pro we probably should make the green research. Because that green research one and one gives us two so that would give us 16 warpers and then in order to make that all we need is microprocessors and the titanium or plane filters which is titanium glass and these crystals which we are pulling from another planet as well uh but we <laughs> we need hydrogen to grab there's a rabbit hole here darn it oh what is the best way to do this because we need strange matter in order to get strange matter we need the the duty or hydrogen two or whatever we're gonna call it and these again oh it's a vicious cycle i wonder if we could import space warpers we could temporarily i have 56 of them but honestly in order to get space warpers going well we have we have some deuterium we have some duty being made no we don't i was gonna say we had a gas giant here but we don't have a gas giant here making that mm, we're gonna have to figure out what we want to make here and how we want to do this because I have some space warpers that we could use to get things started. But I think ultimately we need to get our towers warp capable first. So I've been thinking on it and I think the best course of action for us at this point is going to be to bring in fire ice, make the graphene because graphene's also going to make hydrogen for us. 
So I think we're going to pull in. Do we have anything pulled on this tower? Not yet. Let's go ahead and pull this. Oh, no, that's getting Kimber Kimberlite and Copper. Okay, so that's what we're going to do the uh, the purpley goodness. So here, we're going to go ahead and request Fire Ice. Uh, remote Demand. We're going to request that. And then do I have any logistic ships to put in here? Probably not because I don't have any of those. Wait, no, I thought I had a couple left. Okay, apparently I was wrong. Apparently I don't have any logistic ships left. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I might steal ships from somewhere else because we do have fire ice being made here. And then that is going to give us graphene and hydrogen. Now, the graphene and hydrogen, it's going to be weird because it's going to use a different production means. Uh, it's going to be using a chemical plant. So... Let's see, we are gonna be pulling from here fire ice. Uh, so we're gonna go from here to here. I like setting this up like this. So that way I have like a kind of basic, like a, a little basic deal going on. Um, fire ice, that's gonna be making two products. So we could go ahead and run the single line down this way. Now this line can hold 30 per second. And how much fire ice are we going to need per second in order to get this running? So if I start here and we click on the alternate graphing, so two for two. So every, so one for one, essentially, um, we'll be able to make 15 on each side. Holy moly. We're not going to be able to keep up with the graphing though, because if we do 15 on each side, that's going to do... Oh no, yeah, we'll be able to keep up with that because there's gonna be separate belts. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and shift click this and I'm gonna put in a bunch of these as close together as I can. Uh, we're probably not gonna be able to put 15 in here though. 15 long, cause we're only at three. You know what? I'm gonna actually do something that I've never done. I'm gonna cover this up. Uh, no, I want to... Uh, what's the, what's... Flatten the surface to zero altitude. Isn't there? There we go. Yeah, I want to hide those. Okay, cool. So we still have stone here if we need it, but I don't think we're going to need it. <laughs> to be completely honest. Like, oh, I'm sure we will. We're going to need some. We're going to be pulling it from other planets, probably. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on the outputs of that. Uh, because it's getting long. Yeah, it's getting really long. So we'll just let one belt go in betwixt. No, stop that. I want this. We're going to let that go to right there. And then we need to put outputs, two outputs on each side. One's going to be hydrogen and one is going to be graphene. Now hydrogen, I don't really want hydrogen backing up. And we can store... What, 5,000 in a tower? I think we're gonna have to have hydrogen in a uh, in a fuel storage. I think we're gonna have to do that in order to buffer it. Okay, so we need to figure out where we wanna put this tower for these. I'm thinking we're probably just gonna put them. Oh, you know what? We're also gonna have an output right here too. Let's go ahead and put this tower over here maybe. Let's see, will you fit in here? Yeah, well, perfect. Okay, so we'll do this. And we're going to go ahead and set this to be hydrogen and graphene. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And then from there, we're going to have to get, I'm going to put some of these containers up because like I said, I want a buffer a little bit just in case, because I think we're going to hit it. Um, and I think we're going to have two separate inputs. Of course, I can't put these right next to each other. That would be just too easy, wouldn't it? Okay. So there's those. So we're going to run hydrogen into here. And then graphing straight into there. Because I, I don't think we're going to have an issue with graphing. Well, we might. We might. I don't know. We'll have to see. If we do, we'll have to uh, figure out some storage for that anyway. So let me get these hooked up and running. And then we'll figure out what belts are going to be what. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to mark it, huh? Okay, so we'll do the close belt. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to mark this. So graphene and hydrogen. Okay, now can I shift click this as the same setting? No. All right, well, this is fantastic. So I don't think these belts are gonna be maxed out by any means. So I think we're gonna be able to combine them, which is good and bad. <laughs> it's good because, how, okay, hold on. What is the output on this? What's the recipe here? So we're gonna be getting 
one hydrogen two graphene so we should be able to go ahead and combine graphene and graphene and hydrogen and hydrogen so we might have to play with some splitters here so let's do this one there that one there that should work because we should be able to do there to there and then that's hydrogen hydrogen and then hydrogen will go over here over here and then it can come down okay so we're only gonna have yeah we're probably only gonna have one of these for now we can always move them we can always move stuff later but we're just going to have like one general belt or one general storage deal right here. I think that'll work for now. I have a feeling we're going to have to redo this. But that's okay. So there's hydrogen. And then graphene. I'm a little bit worried about how much graphene we're going to be making. So I don't know if I want to put it onto one belt. Because if we're doing... Yeah, we'll be good. We'll be fine. We can go ahead and throw those on one belt as well. Okay, so that should work for graphene. That should work for hydrogen. Fantastic. Let me go snag some... Let's see. Do we have any logistics vehicles in some of these that aren't being used yet? Because I put a whole bunch everywhere. But I need a couple of them in order to start going to get into stuff. No, it doesn't look like I did. No, I did not. Wonderful. I'm so glad that I didn't do that. <laughs> All right, so we got some logistics vehicles. We're going to throw them in here. They should be good to go. Throw that in there. And, oh, you don't have power? How do you not have power? How is, is this tower seriously not powered yet? Like, come on. Oh, now it is. Okay, so once these get charged up, there comes the dry ice. Perfect. All right. So that is all fine and dandy. However, we really, really need to get our, our warpers going on all these towers. So basically, I need an area to set up to make warpers. And I honestly think that the gravity matrix is probably the best bet just because of how many more we get out of it. We get eight warpers for every one. That is like, that is a huge win, but we need to set up an area where we can make these crystals out of the graphene and hydrogen that we're making now. So we are making graphene and hydrogen. Um, it's not going to be a good ratio, but it will be a ratio that will work. And we need to make these crystals in order to make the plane filter, which is titanium and glass. Titanium and glass, which is titanium. Oh, God, we're going to have to import water. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to have to import water. Uh, we're going to have to import stone. Because I don't, I don't really want to make anything on this planet from this planet. Like we have stone deposits, we just covered one up. But I don't really, I don't really want to make that. So we need to make a glass making area and a stone making area too. So we need to import stone. Holy moly, the rabbit hole just continues. This is the problem with setting up a brand new base. Okay, so stone is a very basic resource, so we're gonna have to bring that in as well. Um, and basically, I'm gonna have to set up a belt in order to make glass and stone. Like the, the made stone. What is that actually called? Stone bricks. We're going to make glass and stone bricks. And I'm trying to decide if I want to go for one tower for one thing. Because we don't use that much stone brick. Like I, I've always found that we always have... I always have a ton of stone brick. But glass. So I think we're going to make one line for stone brick. Two lines for glass. And then we're going to call that a day on that. So let's go ahead and let's pull those out. Now as far as I'm concerned... Uh, these are going to be super easy. So we're going to be able to place a few of those. What do we need for, so glass, two stone, two seconds gives us one glass. Hmm. Okay. So we can put a bunch of those down. Uh, we're going to need two lines. So an input and output, of course. So it's going to run that all the way down there. We'll run this line all the way down here as well, just for now. And then for these, uh, this is going to be making stone brick. So basically, same thing on those as well. And then stone brick is a one for one. Okay, cool. 
So we can run uh, 15 on your side, give us 30 on max, but I don't have that many, uh, I don't have that many smelters with me. So we're just gonna set up like this for now. Super tiny, super small, it'll work. Uh, and then we can always, like I said, we can always go back in and get more smelters hooked up and all that fun stuff. But this way we can at least get glass and stone in a line so we can kind of, uh, we can kind of see where it's gonna go and how everything's gonna work. The expansion part isn't too bad, but getting everything set up the first time, that's where, uh, that's where, like, the, the pain in the butt is, because you gotta get everything set, you gotta get the, uh, you know, moving from point A to point B, this thing needs to go here, blah, 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 all that fun stuff, but expanding, adding more, that's already working, you know, just increasing the number, increasing the flow, not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, so down here, we are, oh, this will actually work out perfectly, we will go ahead and we will supply stone brick and glass into here, so we'll just basically run these down there. We're only like, I think, I think we're only gonna have one uh, stone line. I'm not positive, that could change. That's gonna be this line right here and we're just gonna go ahead and run it. Uh, I wanna go this way, yeah. We're gonna run it straight into there. And then this one, we'll go ahead and run over here and into there, that'll be our glass. We'll have stone and glass going in here. Like I said, stone brick just does not get used very often, so I don't think it's gonna be an issue. If it is, we can always readjust. We can always we can always change. But now the problem becomes I don't have stone being sent from anywhere, uh, from anywhere being made anywhere. Um, what I could do, I mean, there's 2.5 million stone here. Oh my god, there's so much stone here. Like I feel like maybe we should just, maybe I should set up a mine here. Hey, look at this 2.7 million 2.4 million let's just set up a little bit of a mine here uh and then let's do local supply on this and then it'll pull into that tower over there okay all right this will be fine we'll just do that uh we'll just throw a couple on here just to get things started so we'll do stone uh local supply remote supply that's fine uh and then we'll go put uh local demand on the other one and do we have drones on this one no we do not let's throw some drones on here Boop. perfect so they can start moving stuff around oh shoot uh let's just do actually no i'll just let them do that that's fine they can pull it from there not worried about it okay so let's get some towers on here so we can get these going that'll get a little bit of stone going for us for now not a lot i mean yeah it'll work i guess so we'll go ahead and do local demand on this as well uh and then we should have we should have some stuff coming in here should i throw a stack of drones on here why not mm maybe maybe not we'll wait because those drones should probably bring over the stone okay cool so we got those going now we also have to get titanium alloy to make the plane filters right plane filter yeah titanium glass titanium glass is oh no titanium glass is titanium glass but for making water oh gosh we have to import water so we'll just import that from our planet uh, we'll put remote demand local supply and that'll get fixed up real nice. Okay, let's see which one of these towers is a little close together or we're not going to be able to utilize it fully. Actually, any of these towers would work. So let's do water, uh, remote demand local supply. We'll do that and let's go set up some water towers and get some water in here. Actually, that tower definitely needs to have drones on it. You have drones? Yes, you do have drones. Okay. So that'll work. Then we'll get that going. Oh, <laughs> got so much stuff to do. Hey, look at that. There's our stone. And look at that. We're starting to make stuff. Wonderful. We just got to expand it, fill it in. Oh, yeah, this is nice. See, we're getting a nice backbone here. And then we can just keep adding more and more and more. It's going to be good. This is going to be a good planet. I'm super excited about this. All right, so we are back on our water-filled planet. Let's go grab... I think I have a bunch of uh, water pumps in a storage over here somewhere. And I'm just going to basically put a whole bunch of water pumps on a line and put that into an intergalactic deal and let it let it just supply our planet with as much as it needs. Pretty sure I have water pumps. Ugh, I only have one. What does it take to make water pumps? Water pumps are fairly simple, right? Water pump. Stop. <laughs> There's that stone brick that I never need. All right, so let's see. Where is a good spot? This looks like a great spot, actually. Do we have a tower over here nearby? We got this one. 
Let's see, we've got these towers right here as well. Okay, so let's just get a nice little line right in here. I'll suck all this water out of here. I think the water's infinite, if I'm not mistaken. I think it'll I think it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and put this on minus. Let's get it to a nice small thing. And let's go ahead and just do this. And then we should be able to get a whole bunch of water pumps on here. All right, we'll see how that works. And we'll go ahead and put a belt like that. And then basically all of these are going to connect. That might overload that belt. I don't know what the rate of these things is. Oh, shoot. That's not going to work. Because these are completely loaded. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't think the last one is. Bring it all the way down here, maybe? Yeah, water. Uh, remote supply, local supply. Cool, that'll work. All right, there. There's the water. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Let's move this one a little bit. Can we get all these, please? Yeah. Oh, that's not overloading that belt at all. Do I have more of those? Yeah, let's get more of them in here. Let's put them like this. Now, hopefully I can connect the belts from there to there. Perfect. Yeah, that'll work. Watch, we're gonna learn that uh, this is not an infinite supply and it's just gonna suck it dry. <laughs> oh, yep, belt's loaded. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's completely loaded up. That's fantastic. Who knew we'd need water? And it's gone. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. It's coming in pretty quick, I gotta say. I like it. I like it. It's working. Okay, so there's our water problem fixed temporarily. Actually, I mean, that might fix it forever. I don't know. I don't know how much water we're gonna actually need for stuff. But, like, that looks like it's gonna be good. Watch this water line just slowly go down. <laughs> I mean, it just says water. It doesn't say an amount, right? So, yeah, we should be good. And look at that. Oh, water's coming in like a dream. That is pretty nice. All of that water just rolling on in here. Perfect. So we needed that in order to make... Was it the alternate crystals? No, it wasn't the alternate crystals. What did we need? Oh, was it the... Titanium glass? It was titanium glass. So we need titanium glass and water. And we can bring those in and we can start making titanium glass, which will then allow us to make the plain filter. Not quite because I have to make this first. Oh my gosh, the, the rabbit hole is in, endless. But then we can make the plain filter. And then from the plain filter, we can make quantum chips. And then from the quantum chips, we, we can hopefully start making gravity matrix. But we got to get, get gravitational lenses first, which means we need strange matter, which, mean, which, which means we need deridium. And uh, the purpley stuff and the purpley stuff, we need the Kimberl or the unipolar magnets and copper. But in order to get that, we need warp cells. <laughs> it's just, just the circle of it's such a vicious circle. It is such a vicious circle. But the mega factory is coming together. It is happening. It's slowly happening. So I think what's going to happen is I'm probably going to do a little bit of this work off camera because basically it's we're doing the same thing that we've been doing. Uh, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make episodes of basically the same thing over and over and over again, but we're going to do some stuff. We're going to get some more things going. We're going to work on factory building. Um, I'm excited. My, the part that I'm excited about is once this is set up, figuring out what we need to expand and starting to expand to meet demands, you know, that's what I'm excited for. This initial setup is kind of slow, kind of boring, nothing super exciting. Um, but I definitely want to get the artificial stars going because we got five of those probably gonna need a bunch uh my idea is probably to run a ring around this planet because we're gonna probably be using a lot of power and uh yeah so that's the plan but we've got to get we've got to get the warp capable stuff we got to get these space warpers going so that way we can start bringing stuff in from other planets other systems so that's what i'm gonna be working towards but that is gonna end this episode hopefully you have enjoyed if you did 
make sure you leave a like on the video if maybe if you haven't already consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to be notified as well so uh yeah leave a comment down below are you are you working on a super mega factory are you doing this differently let me know i'm super curious but i think i like my design here i think i like what we got going on i like how we have this center ring right here pulling stuff from every other planet supplying these towers which are then supplying this planet uh concurrently getting uh getting the resources where they need to go so i'm liking it i think it's a, i think it's a good idea and not to mention like we have all this side over here we have this whole side over here as well to play with so right now we're pretty much like if you look at our planet we're only utilizing like half of it oh but it looks good oh it looks good i like it uh but yes thank you so much for coming out have a wonderful rest of your day have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye everybody